Now, um, really, this, this, this is going to sound silly, but this is really, really important, cutting-edge genetics. One of, the, one of the areas, I'm really lucky to, to I'm, I'm blessed to, to work in three distinct areas of biology, immunology, genetics, and reproduction. And on the genetics side, I get to go to conferences and hear about advances in genetics in all species. And I was just at one a couple of weeks ago down at the Cold Spring Harbor Lab in Long Island, and uh, I learned a, a bit about um, what's being known about the, the, gene, the genome of Neanderthals, the genetic makeup of Neanderthals. That, the uh, genome sequencers, like, led by Svante Pabo, who works in Germany, has taken tiny little fragments of Neanderthal bones, isolated DNA, and determined the genome of the Neanderthal, and used that information to um, determine, using genetic methods, how, how long ago Neanderthals and humans were a single species, where the common ancestor was. They've also been able to compare um, human genomes and ask the question of whether there's any evidence of Neanderthal genes in the human genome. And they found that there is. And, it's, and the amount is quite significant, upwards of 5 to 7%. Neanderthals used to live in the Neander Valley. It's, you, know, you could have called it the, you know, the Cayuga Lake Basin, but that's where they lived. Um, and out of Africa came the modern humans, and they, the word the, the geneticists use is admixed. They admixed with the Neanderthals. <laughs> and they, they all used to live in caves in those days like this. Came out of Africa, had mixed with the Neanderthals. This was the Neanderthal territory. There was another group of, of uh, Neanderthal-like creatures called the Denisovans. They lived up here in Siberia, and they have a that their genome has been sequenced. They were distinct from the Neanderthals, and um, you, so you can find in people of European and Asian ancestry evidence of about seven percent, five to ten percent of genome of your genome is common with that of Neanderthals. We've been separated from them by, for, for 30,000 years or so. And in the, some of the tribes in Papua New Guinea and those islands out there, there's evidence for, for, for a different kind of genome, which is probably the Denisovan genome. And they might have 7% Neanderthal and 5% Denisovan. So they might be 12 or 15% different from us. And in fact, the the Africans who came out from Africa have no evidence of any Neanderthal genes in them. No evidence of that mixture. So they're the real pure humans. Homo sapiens. Really, really interesting and it gives you a lot to think about. Right. <laughs>